a new report has just been revealed showing Tesla's already using a game-changing technology at its factory in Shanghai in China. This new technology completely changes the way a car is made. And I don't believe anyone expected this was coming. There was no insider information to tell us to warn other automakers Tesla was about to change the game. That's exactly what they have just done. This is the advent of what is potentially an entirely new way of making a car. We just heard what Toyota had to say about this. Toyota said this new technology is game changing, but Tesla has just basically upped the game significantly versus what Tesla have done previously and versus what Toyota have just revealed. This is what I'm talking about and this is why it matters. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans, and it's great to be back. I've been at the Melbourne Electric Car Show. It was great to meet many of you there. Had a really good time. Now I'm ready to take things just up that little bit of a notch and reveal this information, which I think completely changes the way we make a car. To massively reduce costs, increase the structural rigidity of the car, and lower the weight, plus a whole bunch of other benefits, such as improve its structural rigidity and crashes, etc., etc. Tesla has been using giga casting for the front and the rear of the Model Y. Basically, it's turning about a, more than 100 parts into two. This is really good, all right? Toyota just said that by using a giga cast at the back of the car, that they are to do something similar. And they're planning to put it in production in about 2025 or 2026 thereabouts. They said it'll reduce 88 parts down to one and mean the production of all that part of the car goes from taking three hours to less than three minutes. But Tesla said, hold my beer. Now, that may sound ridiculous, but it's true because apparently they're now using a single piece mega cast to build the Tesla Model Y. Reports have just emerged from China saying Tesla has just been secretly working on this juggernaut piece of machinery. I'm talking one of the biggest, possibly the biggest casting machine in the automotive industry in history. And it will completely change how much it costs Tesla to make a car. It will mean, how, how will anyone compete with this? They won't be able to, they simply cannot because, well, if you combine the advantages of the significant reduction in weight, streamlining manufacturing, reducing costs, structural rigidity improvements, is just too many things to, to add up. Then you add this to the, the equation, Tesla gets massively cheap prices for LFP cells from either BYD, but predominantly CATL from their factory in China. And you've got a combination here of LFP cells, which we know have had very few issues with them and a very, very affordable way of making the car. This is a really tough thing to compete with. I really think if you're a competitor to Tesla, you've got to be peeing yourself right now. I've been thinking, just crapping your pants saying, what, what are they going to do next? We're seeing them go from, you know, multiple pieces to one piece and structural battery packs. What are they going to do next? Tesla's Shanghai factory is using one piece die casting technology in the Model Y production, which dramatically reduces component costs, a new report from China says. Tesla is accelerating innovation by upgrading its integrated die casting technology to version 2.0, kill the competition version. That's what I would call this. But anyway, if you disagree with that, let me know why in the comments. I'm really interested to know. Anyway, this die cast enables Tesla to make nearly all of the vehicle in what, well, like a minute. It's insane. And it means the complex underbody parts are turned into a single unit, says this report from China's official Shanghai Security News, citing a person that works at Tesla. The newspaper's reporters visited Tesla's factory in Linyang, Pudong, Shanghai, where the Model Y's rear underbody structure is already being produced using integrated die casting technology for rapid casting, according to the report. Aggregate casting is an important innovation that is very much in evidence on the Model Y, the report quoted Sui Hai Lone, Tesla's Shanghai manager of structural and thermal management systems as saying, in the Model Y's one piece die cast rear underbody, what was once many fragmented parts 
are brought together into a single part, providing a significant boost in productivity, said Tesla, or said Tesla's officials, apparently. Anyway, this new approach allows the body system to save more than 10% in weight compared to traditional methods. Saving weight is the most important thing you can do with an EV to improve efficiency. Why do Tesla's vehicles get more better efficiency than pretty much everyone else? Well, one of the reasons I would say personally, I believe the core reason is they weigh less. For example, the Model 3 weighs less than equivalent petrol powered or gasoline powered internal combustion engine vehicle. At the same time, CNF Post says the technology offers massive cost advantages as the cost of the rear floor assembly has been reduced by 40% as the car was built using one piece die casting. Integrated die casting technology is bringing disruptive changes to the automotive industry, said Yan Yingwei, an expert committee member at the China Automobile Dealers Association, cited by Shanghai Securities News. Really, if we get to the point where Toyota is saying uh, the way Tesla makes a car is genius, and Tesla says, yeah, mate, that's our old version. That's crap. We've got a new version coming out. It's going to be way better than what you just saw. How do you compete with this, this level of speed of innovation? Tesla's new all-in-one die casting helps make its cars lighter, structurally more rigid, and it allows for higher range while keeping labor costs down, said Yan. Several Chinese companies are already using one-piece die casting technology, though. So this is the Tesla and the China juggernaut onslaught coming to basically crush legacy auto and this is just one aspect of it one of many this is expected to give chinese cars a boost in the reduction of their weight and production cost savings so it's not just tesla that are bringing this new technology but some of their competition will do so as well and of course is that competition going to be are they coming to the rest of the world is it byd for example we don't know yet Geely Zika has used one-piece die-casting technology on the body of its Zika 009 MPV, eliminating nearly 800 welds, reducing the number of parts by more than 80, and reducing weight by 16%. That is insane. I'm just going to repeat that. Reduces 800 welds, takes away 79 parts, goes from 80 to 1, and reduces weight by 16%. What else do we know? Xpeng. Well, apparently Xpeng's new EV architecture features front and rear one-piece aluminium die-cast bodies with 161 parts integrated into two and a maximum die-casting force of 12,000 tons. If that is in fact true, that means that force is higher than the force that the the Tesla Cybertruck Gigapress has, which is 9,000 tons. In other words, Xpeng said, yeah, that's great. We're going to get one even bigger. Let's go from 9,000. Let's go to 12,000. That's insane. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is Volkswagen Group are going to be using Xpunk's EV platform, but it's not that one. The Volkswagen geniuses in all their wisdom decided that they use Xpunk's old EV platform. Xpunk like, yeah, you can have that, mate. We don't want that. We'll charge you for it, but you can you, you take it away. We've got a new platform that's miles better than that. So good luck with that one. Anyway, that's what it seems like is happening with Xpunk. Back to Tesla. The Model Y is, of course, one of the best-selling SUVs. Well, it's the best-selling SUV in the world this year. And it's one of the best-selling in China. From January to August, the Model Y sold 278,761 units, which was an increase of 62% versus last year. In fact, they sold 152,461 at their China factory from January to May, making it meaning it was a best-selling SUV in China during that period of time. Well, what's going on with the Model 3? Is there some sort of gigapressed part like this underbody casting for the new Model 3? Well, I don't think anyone knows yet, and it, there very well could be. We were all saying, yeah, they're not using giga casting for the top structural body pieces, but what about for the underbody? They could be, we don't know yet. Maybe Sandy Munro will be able to take it apart and actually figure out what's going on with the new Model 3. Why is it getting more efficiency? Is it actually lighter? Could be. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments, guys. This is actually really exciting to me. This is the kind of thing that does change the automotive industry in a way that I think is profound. We're talking massive cost savings, huge advantages to the way the car actually drives, the weight of the car. It won't be long before EVs are actually lighter than internal combustion engine vehicles. 
Improvements in energy density, improvements in the way these cars are built, means that we're looking at just a total industry-wide change, which is, well, for the better, for everyone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.